In this video, I'm going to go over 10 helpful plugins for authors who are editing and writing their book in Google Docs. So the first plugin is called Text Cleaner. Now as somebody who writes their first draft, their first, second, third, fourth, seventh, eighth, ninth, umpteenth draft in Scrivener, I have a, a very messy way of writing. So let me just show you. So this is one of my chapters that I'm currently working on for my fourth book. You can see there's a lot of spaces in between the paragraphs. I haven't done any indentation in it. I have these um, straight quotes, which we don't want for formatting. Um, and then I also have regular quotes, apparently. Don't know why it's doing half and half, but it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna copy all of this and I'm gonna paste this straight into Google Docs. And I, I don't spell check my work, sorry. Um, I'm in writing mode. I would actually start spell checking. So if it bothers you, I promise I can spell. I just don't care about spelling it. So this is what it looks like, a hot mess. It actually has automatically indented this for me, which is cool, but you can still see we have a bunch of the same problem as in here. So. First one, text cleaner, go extensions, um, and then text cleaner. And you're going to first want to configure it because you want to make sure it's not going to remove stuff that you want to keep in there. So I want to preserve italics. I do have a flashback scene in this, so I want to keep that. Um, I don't care to keep the indentation. I would rather format that in Google Docs myself. I do want to smarten quotes because I don't want straight and curly quotes. I also want to remove line breaks. And I don't know why you'd want to remove paragraph breaks, but you can. I also want to remove multiple spaces and any tabs. If I got a little tab happy, um, I want that gone too. Um, and you will see that it says smarten quotes only works with fully selected paragraphs or tables. So I'm going to make sure that I'm going to select everything and see if that works. Click save. And then I'm going to select everything, extensions, text cleaner. I'm going to clean select a text because I want it to do everything, but you can see you can do specific things if you don't want to do all of them, which is handy. Clean selected text. It's working. Oh, amazing. Um, it didn't do it 100% perfect. I still have a few um, extra paragraphs spaces. I probably just got a little um, space happy there, <laughs> which happens. Um, sometimes if I'm between a scene, I do like to do that. Um, I am looking for my italics, which I don't think that actually has kept them, which isn't too big of a deal. Um, sometimes with these plugins, they don't work exactly how you want them to, which isn't a big deal for me, but I do really like that it's removed a uh, majority of these paragraphs for me because then I don't have to do it um, like this. <laughs> if you've never formatted a Google Docs, it's okay. Don't freak out that I just removed all of the spacing in here. I'll make it better and I'll show you so we don't have a panic attack together. Format indentation options. The first line. Whew. Okay, that looks a lot better and this is great. Um, if you want a little bit more about formatting, I do have a video about that. I'm going to leave it as is now so we can um, appreciate the plugins for what they are. Let's see if it also smartened our quotes. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so just so we can see. This right here was straight quotes, and it looks like it has actually done my straight quotes. Um, it's, it's not a cure-all, but it, it's done enough for me that I was very excited. I did not have to delete all of those line breaks. Plugin number two is Pro Writing Aid or the Grammarly plugin. I bought Pro Writing Aid a long time ago, so you can see that this is going to allow me to use it to improve my document or to give a summary report. Um, if I wanted to improve my document, it's going to bring up this uh, new window for me to look at. It has the same things that you would normally use. Um, it just gives you a little bit more of a, you know, the copy and paste it between different things. And if you were using it in Google and Microsoft Word, it would allow you to use it. Um, I don't honestly use Grammarly or Pro Writing Aid very much. I rely fully on my editor, but this was a very, a good stage for 
learning how to edit better when I was newer at writing. And this stuff is junk. Like 100%, please don't judge my writing. I literally don't edit any of this until I have a full draft done. So that is what we are getting from book four. Both the Pro Writing Aid and the Grammarly plugin have their pros and cons. It's really up to a matter of preference on which one you want to use. Plugin number three is ATTS Read Aloud. I've already showed this if you've watched my editing in Google Docs video, but this is a plugin that is going to read your work to you to help you kind of catch errors and typos and sentences that don't sound good. So up in extensions, I like the read aloud TTS. It was the best free one that I could find. And this is just going to open a sidebar. And you can just hit play. The skill world quivered. Ripples spread out across the mirrored surface as the image of the Vaiyin's sacred tree wavered. My vision blurred for a moment before the void came back into focus and darkness engulfed those who had gathered. So that gives you a little bit of an idea. It's not perfect. It's free. Um, you can adjust the voice, the speed, the pitch to make it a little bit more bearable. I always find it very funny how it butchers all of my names in places, but it does serve a purpose in finding the words that I've missed, like to and the. My brain just seems to forget those a lot, so it helps me figure out like places where I've skipped words or if something isn't sounding right. It just helps me find and fine-tune those before I hand it over to my editor. The next plugin is Night Eyes. This is actually a plugin that works across the entire web. And what this does is it creates a dark mode for all of the internet, like Google. And all you have to do is you install the plugin Night Eye. And I actually have bought this plugin because you can only use it up to five websites for the free version. And I use it everywhere. I am a creature of the night. I don't like to look at bright screens. It just murders my eyes. Um, so if I click this off normal, this is what it normally looks like. Um, I can go over to Google real fast and show you that this is what Google looks like with night eyes. And then if I put it back to normal, it looks normal. Dark mode. Dark mode is good. There are plenty of plugins for dark mode, but I do, I would suggest to take care of your eyes because you only have one pair. Take care of them and be kind. My next plugin is called One Look Thesaurus, and this is uh, pretty obvious what this is. I'm going to go up to Extensions, and I'm going to go to One Look Thesaurus, and I'm going to just pull up the sidebar here. Um, I'm going to look up a, a cinnamon of um, walking, everyone's favorite way of trying to describe something a little bit uh a little bit more uh, flourishy, but I usually just stick with walking, but we have sauntered, biking, hiking, um, adjectives, brisk, which if you want to modify, if it was briskly walking, um, has rhymes, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can also search for lyrics, quotes, proverbs, which is pretty cool to see that you can actually find proverbs. I don't know why that would help you with your novel. Maybe if you're writing nonfiction, it would help you grab like those quotes you see at the beginning of chapters, but you don't have to leave Google Docs and your book. And theoretically, this will keep you from being distracted by the internet. My next plugin is Writer's Highlighter. And this is really good if you have a lot of words that you are reliant on. If you like to write that your characters smile a lot or nod, this is going to help you find all those sections. And I'm going to go into just the very basic mode. And I am going to look up something really easy that I know I have a ton in just so you can see the functionality. I want red to highlight I. Um, I'm going to have this highlight smiled. Um, what else do I want to do? Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. I use name as a uh, placeholder, and sometimes I don't see those. And I can see there's one right here, and I'm sure there's more of them, so I want to make that apparent. And you can do this for different words and phrases. If you have phrases that you are reliant upon, you can also bold it, ignore cases. There's a lot really in this. I've only used it for the very, very basics. So once I have the words that I want highlighted, I'm going to hit highlight. And 
it has already highlighted, like within seconds, it has highlighted name and I. I haven't written smiled so much, which is a plus side, but this is a character who doesn't smile very much. And this is really helpful for trying to uh, go through a list of what you need to cut, like even like the adverbs that you want to cut, things like think, smelled, very, like those words that you want to erase. If you would highlight them in different colors, it'll be easy for you to find them. There's also an advanced mode that has a whole bunch of other settings that you can ignore the case of. Um, whole words only. You can also use wildcards. This is a very powerful plugin that is good for fine tuning those very specific words that you want to find. My next plugin is Word Cloud Generator. Now this one is, could be handy, could be more for like marketing, or maybe if you are trying to just figure out what words you need to cut down that you've used a lot. So this is just a word cloud. It looks for the words that have used the most and it compiles them and makes them into a bigger font. It's just, it's really pretty visual to see what is most used. Unsurprisingly, skills, which is basically the magic in my world, is used a lot. Eyes, there is a lot of eye contact in here. Um, Shenre apparently is also in here a lot. It's kind of interesting. This could be something really cool to download and share as a marketing, just a marketing piece. You can also personalize it, number of words, if you don't want any words in there. If I don't want eyes because it's kind of lame, I can remove that and then click adjust. My next plugin is called Beep. This is going to allow you to integrate voice comments into Google Docs, which is amazing if you are beta reading for someone and trying to explain why something isn't working or if you are editing and trying to explain kind of the same thing where something's not working or just trying to brainstorm. There is two different ways that you can do this. One is actually a Google Docs plugin, which I will just show you what it looks like. It pulls up this little sidebar over here. You would tap to record. So in this part right here, I'm a little bit confused. I think it would be better if Kilo would do this. I'm going to save that. You can change if you want it to automatically delete. I would like it to delete within a day so this doesn't live on the internet forever. And then I'm going to insert it into my doc. It has copied it to my clipboard. So now all I need to do is leave myself a comment. And I'm going to say, this is confusing. And then I'm going to paste the voice note here. And then when I scroll over, it's going to give me this link here that if I click on it, it is going to take me to a separate web page where I can listen to my note. Record. So in this part right here, I'm a little bit confused. Okay, that's if you use the um, sidebar in Google Docs. And what I would also suggest is to install the plugin to your browser itself. What you'll see is you're gonna get beep right here so you can know that's working. And then when I go leave myself a comment right here, you can see I have an option to leave myself a voice comment. This is automatically gonna work. So I'm kind of confused about why Kilo isn't doing anything. I think it should be, you know, this would work better. Save. I have the same option to make this expire um, in a week or in a day or six months. Depending on how long my project is, I'm going to click insert and submit and give this a moment because what this is going to do is it's going to allow it to integrate into Google Docs a little bit better. So I don't have to click away from the page because that honestly is a little bit annoying into a voice note that I can just click. This is automatically going to work. So I'm kind of confused about why Kilo isn't doing anything. Uh, it's amazing. This is going to help. I'm definitely going to use this with my editor on my next pass of editing, just so it's it's a little bit easier than writing giant paragraphs back to each other. Um, I think it adds a little bit more of a human touch as well. My next plugin is going to be an Accents keyboard. This is only going to work for certain people or be helpful for certain people if you are writing in a different language or if your language has accents in it. 
This is a plugin that is just an accent keyboard that will give you these special little macarons and the characters above the letters. Unfortunately for me, there is no Japanese in here. Uh, so I can't get the macaron that goes over the O, which I use frequently. So what I have done instead is I have actually started using a chapter, a heading marker that's called accents. And I have just copied in some words that I can then copy and paste so I can actually create the words that I need. So this is my shortcut around to a plugin that I wish existed, but I have looked through all the library. So if you know of one that has a Japanese um, dialect and words in it, I would like it. So let me know if you have one of those. If you are into dictation, there is a built-in plugin that is kind of hidden in Google Docs. And this only works on Google Chrome, which you will notice that I have changed my browser. So to get to this, you're going to go up to tools, voice typing, click to speak. Hello, we are testing out this plugin, period, space. Isn't it so cool, period? Apparently you don't need to type space. But this is a little handy way if you like dictation. It is a built-in plugin that makes things, uh, it's actually not doing too bad of a job, honestly, period. Do I need to say a space? Period. Capitalize? Hmm. I clearly don't know what I'm doing, but that is there for you to do as you please. And I hope this list of plugins was helpful. There are a few that I am definitely going to use and I will tweak and learn how to use them inside out. So if you had a favorite plugin that you liked or if you have a cool one that you'd like to suggest, leave a comment below. And if you're interested in more tips about Google Docs or writing and editing a book, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys all in the next one.